Today I'm gonna to show you how to change the sizes of your text in your data merge with just a couple of clicks. I know we've been waiting for this and I finally found a solution, which is amazing. It's gonna help a lot with address lists and long documents. There's a ton of uses for this. I'm an imitation designer, so I know a lot of my audience is thinking of this from an address list perspective. So that's what we're gonna to do today. Uh, but there's a ton of different uses for this. So let's go ahead and dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey, I'm an imitation designer, and I like to teach other creatives how to design wedding imitations and run profitable, successful businesses. Um, if you're not familiar with InDesign Data Merge, we're gonna use that and gloss over it here, so watch our longer video on that. But what happens when you data merge often is that you're going to get a lot of names that are longer than others. So when it, you look at this sheet, this is an Excel sheet that has uh, been completely changed, so none of this is real. None of the addresses are real anymore. Um, but all these names are a lot of different links, especially like this one is so long compared to something like Mr. and Mrs. Roger Ball or Mr. and Mrs. Bob Coley. Those are so short. So how do you make the text change size in the boxes so that this long name is going to fit, but then this small name isn't going to look too teeny weeny, especially if we're using a script font. So let me show you how to do that. The secret to all of this is going to be this script from ID Extras. There's a link to it in the description of this video. It's an affiliate link, but it is so worth it. You're gonna see in just a second, it's $49, and this is gonna save you hours and hours and hours of time over time. So you download this, and then you just take the script file that's in there and paste it into your, uh, they say scripts panel. So when you go into like program files, Adobe, it's pretty easy to get there. You can just search scripts panel within Adobe InDesign if you want, um, and just copy and paste this in there. That's really all you have to do uh, to make sure it's working. You can also drag it and drop it into this scripts panel if you wanna do that as well. So now it's here, we have our scripts panel, which just says fit text to frame 2.4.1, and whenever they have updates, they'll email you about it. Um, so we have that ready to go. How do we set up their, our file? There are three things that we need to do in our file that are a little bit different to make sure this is set up correctly. First of all, we need to make sure that the names are in uh, one box by itself. I tried this by putting everything in the box, but what happens if you do that is it changes the size to make sure everything fits in the box so there's no overset text, but it doesn't change the size on each individual line. So the script is really for the box, it's not for the line length. So then as long as your box is here, in theory, you could make your box smaller and it might have to make this a little bit smaller to fit within that box, but then that doesn't really account for addresses that have multiple lines versus ones that don't have multiple lines, etc. So just highly recommend whatever you're doing this with, um, put it in one box. Typically we're doing this with the names, not the other pieces. Um, and this combo of like print addresses and script names is really common lately and really good for the post office now that the post office is having a little bit more struggles. Um, so I highly recommend just doing the names here, putting that in its own box and then making the box whatever you want the widest dimension to be. So you can see here we didn't um, make it go all the way to the edge of the page. We made it as wide as we would possibly want one of these names to be. The second thing that you need to do is um, apply an object style. So this is different than a paragraph style. You're just gonna apply an object style. It does not matter what it is. Basically what you need to do to do this is just click on the box that the name is in, click plus. You can leave this as object style one. You can change it to names, you can do whatever you want. And then when you click on this, you see that names is applied to that box. And you wanna make sure that names, that same object style is not applied to the other boxes because that's how the script works. Okay, and the third thing is that when this text starts changing size, specifically when it goes smaller, the standard default option in InDesign for any text box is that it's top justified. So when you make this a lot smaller, the space between this box and the address is going to get bigger. So what I like to do in order to change that is just go into object text frame options and then either choose center or bottom so that it stays in one place or center so that it goes into the middle of the box. I kind of like center better. Um, you'll see there's a little bit more space if it gets really small. So you could go with bottom if you prefer that. I just like center. Um, I'm gonna start this at our 
main font size, which is 51. So again, those three things are whatever you want to change the size of is going to go in its own box. It's going to have an object style applied to it that nothing else on the page has applied to it. And then third, you're just going to make sure you change the vertical alignment of this so that it works well when the sizes are different in the font and the baseline kind of changes. Other than that, you're just going to set up your data merge exactly as you would. Otherwise, um, I again have a really long video on this if you want to check that out if you're not familiar with this. And then what we're going to do is just go ahead and create our merge document. Um, same things that we always do, remove the blank lines. That's pretty much it. And you'll see that it's going to create a little bit of overset text, hopefully a lot of overset text because I made this example so you could really see it. Um, so all of this overset text is what we are going to fix and um, that is where we're going to start here. So let's remember which object style we have on here, which is names. And then we're just going to go into our scripts panel. We're going to click fit text to frame. And then you get to choose what you want to do. So you can do this with just your currently selected frame, all of the ones in the entire document. So you could use that if you are trying to do it with the uh, street name and the name. I haven't really tried it out yet in that regard. I mostly have just been doing it with the names. Um, and I like this all text frames having this object style applied. So we'll choose names. And then you can change how the font size is going to adjust. So you can shrink or enlarge it if you want it to really every single piece needs to be exactly three inches wide or whatever it is. You can use shrink or enlarge text if it is needed. And I think that's so cool. I think there's a lot of times with like an escort board or something where you might want it to fit in a certain space and you can use shrink or enlarge. In this case, we just want to make it smaller because we want to keep it as large as possible. We're going to keep it at 51 um, unless it's too big for the box and then we want to make it smaller. So we'll just do only shrink, never enlarge. And then of course you can do the opposite as well. So there's a lot of different uses for this. I think this is going to be the most common usage for, you know, my audience, wedding invitation designers. But if you're looking at this and you see other uses for it, I'd love to hear about them in the comments. And then you're going to click OK and we're going to watch the magic happen. If nothing happens, then you might have done something wrong. OK, and so what happens in this name was already fitting in the box totally fine so it looked like nothing happened but when we go and we look at some of these larger names so we started at 51 point font um this one is actually 44 point font so it's going to say 51 because that's what it started as but it's actually 44.9 um this one was definitely one of the overset text it's 50 point this one is 40 point um bob coley one of the shorter address lines that one's still 51 point and then all the other ones like this one's 38 and the one that we saw that was so long let's see griffin conway let's scroll down and see when we get to that one but you can see the difference in the text size i know it's not always exactly obvious but this one ended up only being 32 point font but it all fits perfectly and looks really beautiful and because we did that center justification um it still looks really nice i think with a lot of these descenders if we've done bottom some of them might go too close uh to the text although you can always just move this up a little um, but i like the center and i think it looks really nice and cohesive even despite all the different varying sizes so 51 all the way down to what was this one again 32 point font and it still looks beautiful and it only took a couple clicks so just as a reminder this is the script it's called fit text to frame from id extras there's a link directly to it in my profile um, it's 49 dollars and then once you get it you get all the updates in the future they have a few other ones that i think are useful as well but this is one that like i have been waiting years for something that would do this and it's going to completely change the way that i do my data merges because it's just so much easier to do this than to go through and manually adjust all the sizes or trying to pick a size that works for the longest name and then you know have to make a bunch of them bigger because they look too small. So just real quick steps again, we're going to put everything that you want to change the size of in its own individual box. You could have 15 different boxes on here and run the script separately for each different object style. Um, you're gonna make sure that one object style is applied to one box and not to anything else on the page. And then if you want to make sure that the spacing remains pretty consistent, you're going to just go up to object, text frame options, and change this vertical justification. Anything but top really should work pretty well. 
So let me know what you think of this new script. I'm so excited for this. I've been wanting something like this for years and I'm so glad I found it. Um, it's going to save me hours and hours and also just all those like really tedious things that I hate doing. So I'm really excited for the amount of time it's going to save and for the amount of mistakes it's going to save on all of my um, address merges and da data merges.